What up, players? It's Wolboss Tay up in this mode. Today we are going to be taking our Brag the Gutsman model, and it's not really a very popular model, um, mainly because the rules aren't that great and because of its exorbitant price. But I thought I'd do a little break from the other things, the Empire and the uh, Vampire Count stuff I've been doing lately, and get this guy painted just because he's going to take really, really not that long to do. Um, so here's the first part of the tutorial where we get him up to this stage. A lot of base coats and we end with the washes, which are my favorite parts. So I kind of wanted to start with, um, just start the video by showing you what he's going to look like Woo! by the end of um, this video. So hope you enjoy it and we'll see you in the next one. Okay, Rag the Gutsman, here we go. First thing we're going to do is we're going to paint his skin because we're going to give him a very pale palette kind of flesh tone. We're going to be using your favorite color and mine, the Henneb Stone. Now as much as I love the fluff for this guy, this new guy, and um, the model is you know pretty cool except for this, look at this bendy. Fine cast! Um, it's just hard to include him in your armies because he's so, you know, bad in the game. I don't know any ogre players that really use him as brag, but they use him as, a lot of people use him as a man-eater with a double-handed weapon, so it's kind of a good option. It's kind of something that would work. really nice um, pallid flesh tone from Deneb Stone. It's really one of my four more uh, favorite colors. I'm really, really sad to see it go. Um, for those of you who are waiting for my painting review, I wanted to get it done a little sooner, but I'm really trying to wait until I get a couple of the different new paints and um, just haven't been by the store since getting the Empire stuff to to get enough of the new paints yet. I want to do a review, <coughs> you know, that's gonna cover pretty adequately enough of the new range so it just doesn't feel like a rant or on the other hand like pure fanboy optimism. If you've got a Vampire Counts Army too, you could use this guy as a, I don't know, he could be a fun little unit filler or substitute for maybe like a, a Vargeist, depending on how you paint him up. Maybe not a Vargeist. Um, but just what I mean by that is his look is very dark gothic with the executioner's hood and everything. You could find a place for him if you really looked. As you can see, I'm just doing a really rough base coat all over, all over his skin area. Here in the front. And then just on his face. Kind of reminds me of a, a big frog from episode one from the underwater kingdom, Jar Jar Binks. Okay, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take, in this next step, we're gonna take Chaos Black. And we're gonna paint his mask. Now, when I was looking at this model, I was thinking, oh, I don't really like the mask. I wanna do something else. Maybe I'll do like a, a green stuff over one eye and give him the sackcloth look like that one kid from the orphanage movie. And, or maybe I'll, I'll green stuff another little thing under the mouth, another little uh, strip of cloth, kind of like Scarecrow from the f uh, Batman movie, The Dark Knight Begins. And I was like, you know what? Forget it. It's alright. Especially since this tutorial is aimed at new people who want a quick, easy way to make their model 
like a good tabletop quality. Uh, that's okay. I, I am gonna change some things though. Um, just like paint, paint scheme wise. Like for example, I'm gonna give him brown pants instead of black. I'm, I think I'm making his skin a little bit <clears throat> lighter as well. Later, but for now, you just want to get all of the cloth mask painted up. The gimp. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to get some Calvin Brown. We're going to be painting the pantalones, his trousers. Keep your chaos black around though, because that's we're also going to be painting the boots in chaos black as well. Is it true that ogres used to be able to take them in an empire army? Not like ogrens for 40k? I think I read that somewhere. Could be wrong though. It's kind of sad they didn't bring the, um, the war wagon back in this edition. I think I, I have one of those models look ridiculous like a tower being pulled by horses with guys sticking out of it like a regular old like you know castle tower being pulled by horses like just unbelievably ridiculous but it had that awesome 90s feel Next we're going to also use Captain Brown to paint the um, staff part of his weapon. Look at how bent that is. Fine cursed! Uh. 
Um, and we're gonna go back to our Dehenib stone to paint the um, bandages around the staff. You might be saying, wait, what? Dehenib stone, but we just used that to paint the skin. Yep. What we're gonna do though is use different washes to differentiate the two. Oh, thank you. Um, next, we're going to take some chain mail and we're going to paint in this step. We're going to paint the uh, looks like bottom, a little spike ball at the bottom, as well as the giant hook at the top. Basically, all the silver pieces. his gut blade, gut plate I mean, is also going to be this silver color. Such a cool weapon, I wonder if this was, you know, whose idea it was first, the miniature sculptor or the designer. It's like, hey, I got this idea for really creepy looking, creepy looking hills have eyes sackcloth wearing ogre in a mask like a like a monster from a from a slasher flick that's built us a model Basically all of this is pretty much silver and then we're gonna we are going to um, you know give it different colored washes to indicate age and rust and all that kind of stuff that ogres love. When the ogres book came out either last edition, probably the edition before, I don't remember when they came out. It's like a grand renaissance of rust techniques. You can see it in all the White Dwarf articles and the um, How to Paint Miniatures book. Rust and Verdigris became like a mainstream thing. So right on for that. Oh, fine cast. Ooh, bent this weapon. So horribly. Mm. 
<laughs> Making little mistakes and things up later. I'm gonna keep working and I'll show you the rest of the silver details when we get back. Okay, so let's see, where else did I paint silver? I painted silver on the buckles, chains down here, oh, the little rivets on his spooky mask. Um, back here, he has, he's got like a bunch of manacles and whatnot. Oh, and this uh, bracer on his, on his right wrist okay so um, now I'm just really cleaning up the details <clears throat> like the black of the mask if you get any of your any silver on it while painting the rivets Um, <coughs> also, we're going to paint his belt. He's wearing a belt, and we are going to paint that black. I might get some black paint onto the pants again, and if you do, then that's fine. We'll just go back over that in a bit. Oh, I also painted black or, or silver on the uh, tips of his boots as well as on the um, shields, gut plate and uh, chain mail on the ground that he's stepping on. little studs in his knees. You might have noticed those as well. Those are going to paint silver. Chainmail, as it were. Last night that I was in, like I was in one of the characters, and you ever seen the movie The Thing by John Carpenter? Oh man, it was a freaky dream. We're looking around for. That is the end of that story. <laughs> I 
I mean, sometimes you just have weird dreams, you know? I used to have this girlfriend that was always like, I had a dream last night that you were cheating on me with this girl that we both know. What's going on between the two of you? And I was like, uh, I don't know what's going on. There's nothing going on between the two of us, but what's going on with you is that you need to stop eating right before you go to sleep, maybe. I had a dream last night that I was riding a horse in a field of marshmallows. Okay, so you got the black boots. <clears throat> You've got um, the brown pants. There's also, don't forget to paint the pants um, above the belt line. Sometimes I always forget. That's not accurate English. Sometimes I forget, and every time when I do, I'm always like, ah, I can't believe I forgot that. Especially if you're an ogre player. You get used to painting these the top of their pants. Because it's like these ogres love just like pulling their belts really tightly around their waist so it always ends up in this look classy. brown on my belt. Okay, um, that looks like it's about it for all of the basic colors. <clears throat> I'm also gonna paint the little, <clears throat> I don't know if it's a rope or suspender, right down. <coughs> so, <clears throat> down by his right here. I'm gonna paint this black. Whatever this is. Okay. Um, yeah, it looks like our guy is just about ready for some washes. You know what we should do though is we should paint the we should paint the blood splatter on his sickle head. Yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> so the blood drops are going to be, um, let's go with our good friend Red Gore. You can go with any of the reds, dark flesh, blood red. Scab red, uh, red gore, darker, I would say, is better. Blue gore, yes, monster. Find me my red gore, please. Here you go, monster. Red gore. Yeah, the darker, the better. <laughs> Ew. Doesn't that look disgusting? Just like mother used to make.
random splotches. Okay, let's get on to the washing. <coughs> hey, before we get started with our washes, we actually have to, uh, totally forgot about the two little guys down here. So, um, <coughs> we're gonna take some Talern flesh and paint up these little unfortunate human heads. It'd be cool if they weren't always human. Like if you had some Skaven heads, or like Lizardmen heads, that would be pretty cool. Don't forget to also paint them back here as well. Then you're going to take Camry Brown and paint their hair. The reason we're going with Camry Brown is because it's a very um, drab, not really bright, explosive color. That's why we're not making them blondes. Get a glass of water. <coughs> Ooh, sorry about that. I wanted to uh, cut off the video before the coffin got too nuts. So, with the way that these new ogres look, I kind of hope that pretty soon um, chaos. We'll have a new Chaos Ogre for their range. Or, ooh, new Dragon Ogres. That would be nice. Because the uh, current ones look like Ogres from, you know, the 90s. Just put on, <coughs> like, really old, oversized, cold one bases, lower bodies, and... Ooh, those look like pretty, pretty dated. This guy also has a mustache. <laughs> He's got a mustache. And paint that. Now I would say we are ready for the washes. So, <clears throat> first things first, we are going to take some. And flesh and we are going to wash this guy's whole body with it. Give him a bath. Is this like my uh, go-to recipe for pallid, pale, Flesh, like it's what I use for the racks and my uh, pain engine. But hey, if it works, you know, it works. <clears throat> but yeah, it's also what I just use for my Vargeist. Speaking of recipes that I like to use. paint the straps connected to the bracer yet because um, I'm just gonna wait for the wash to do its job and then we'll go in and fix it afterwards Make sure 
your wash is in all of the right places it needs to be. <clears throat> Nowhere that it's not. While it's drying, we're gonna get some Badab Black Wash for the for the pants and the weapon. Start with the pants. Oh, also for the gut plate as well. Mostly, just about everything is get, getting this with that black wash or a uh, known oil. For those of you with the new range. Ooh. Up the handle. See, isn't that amazing? You do a little bit of ogren flesh on the skin, and it makes the skin almost turn pink. Do it on these bandages, which were both of them were painted in the Neb Stone originally, and it just makes them look like dark and dirty. Not even done yet because we're gonna about to, we're about to add some Devlin mud as well. <clears throat> so we dab black really on everything. Okay. I'm just checking to make sure that nothing is pooling anywhere that I don't want it to. You can also give a little touch of that, the dab black to the hair. And the mustachio. Okay, we're gonna come back in just a minute once this is dried. Um, so for me it's going to be like an hour or so, and then we'll do some Dublin mud. <clears throat> 